audio ng Byron Smith murders na i-release ng korte. Ang nakakagimbal na audio recording ng pagpatay ni Byron Smith sa teenager na magpinsan na sina Nick Brady at Haley Kiefer sa Minnesota ay nai-release na sa publiko. Pinasok ni Brady, 17, at Kiefer, 18, ang bahay ni Smith Thanksgiving Day, 2012. Tinago ni Smith ang kanyang kotse para magmukhang walang tao sa bahay. Walang kamalay-malay mga teenagers na may mga armas si Smith at inaabangan sila sa kanyang basement. Nag-set up pa siya ng audio recorder sa isang bookshelf. Warning! Ang susunod na audio at imahe ay hindi para sa mga bata o mahina ang loob. Ito ang iilang parte ng recording ni Smith na ginamit bilang key evidence sa kanyang murder conviction. Sorry about that. Refuse to live in fear. I am not a bleeding heart, liberal. I felt like I was cleaning up a mess. Not like spilled food. Not like vomit. Not even like it. Not even like diarrhea. As possible in some tiny little respect. I was doing my civic duty. Because the law enforcement system wouldn't handle it, I had to do it. I had to do it. They weren't human. I, I don't see them as human. This vermin, this bitch, was going to go through her life spoiling things for other people, thieving, robbing, drug use. It's all fun, cool, exciting, and highly profitable until somebody kills you. Give a damn who she is. I'm sorry. So much regret. I try to be a good person. I try to do what I should, be friendly to other people, help them when I can. I try to be a good citizen. Be fair. And because I try to be a decent person, they think I'm a pansy. I'm a sucker. They think I'm there for them to take advantage of. Is that the reward for being a good person? And if I gather enough evidence, they might be prosecuted. If they're prosecuted, it might go to court. If it goes to court, they might be found guilty. If they're found guilty, they might spend six months, two years in jail, and then they're out, and they need money worse than ever, and they're filled with revenge. I cannot live a life like that. 
I cannot have that chewing on me for the rest of my life. I, I cannot. I refuse to live with that level of fear in 